You are watching America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos where every Wednesday on the show we teach you or we try to talk to you about reaching your American dream. This American Dream segment is brought to you by Aquino and Lowe Law Firm, answering your immigration questions. Richard, you're here, what, twice a month, once a month, and they're saying, because times are hard now, the American dream is how to get out of the U.S. The American <laughs> dream has turned into a nightmare, but you're saying that that's not necessarily the case? People can still do something with immigration? Sure. I, I think, you know, it's, it's rough for everybody out there, and, and uh, you know, trying to figure out what we're going to do about paying our bills and immigration tends to be put in the background but I, I think it's really important for people particularly permanent residents to consider what they can do to become a citizen because that's an important step for everybody right the first thing you can do is application for naturalization who should apply well basically if you've been in the United States for five years uh, as a permanent resident then you should uh, consider becoming a, a, a US, citizen. US citizen. If you've uh, been married, if you're married to a US citizen, you can become a, a permanent uh, US citizen after three years, mm -hmm. uh, even if you didn't uh, gain your permanent residency through that spouse. So. Oh, okay, that's okay too. So if you were uh, petitioned by an employer, became a permanent resident, then uh, married to a US citizen, yes. three years is all you need. Uh, three years. But, mm -hmm. And what kind of privileges do we get as a U.S. citizen? Well, of course, you get the right to vote. And we are coming up on an election year. And it's important for everybody out there who has a stake in this economy and who has a stake in what's going to happen in immigration in the future to vote and to make your voice heard. And that's an important uh, thing that you can do as a citizen. Right. Uh, you also are free to travel in and out of the United States and stay out of the United States. I talk to a lot of my clients who want to go home and uh, maybe they're old and they want to be with their family for a while. Well, they can do that as a citizen, go home for five years and decide they want to come back after that. As a permanent resident, you have a lot more restrictions on that. And also you can petition other family and, members. And you can petition brothers and sisters and, of course, your, your parents as a U.S. citizen. And that's a big deal and that's right. an important thing. And that is number two, immigration. We're talking about immigration on a budget. I know that we, uh, we can petition for a relative. But before that, you know, application for naturalization, how much does it cost now? Uh, well, just the filing fees are going to be over six hundred dollars. Over so, six hundred dollars. Yes. And is it something that you pay outright, or? It's the first thing you do when you file your application mm -hmm. is you pay the filing right. fee. Right, yes. and it's not it's not a small amount. It's not a small amount. But no. it should be a priority, I suppose, for them, especially those who can apply, and also because the prices go up. Yes, absolutely. I mean, this has been, we've seen prices go up in the last uh, few years uh, from, you know, 400 to 600. And with the economy the way it is, you can expect that the government is probably going to be asking for more money at some point in the future. Right. How about petitioning for a relative? How much does it cost now? Well, petitioning for a relative, the filing fees are, are about $400. Um, you know, the, the people are discouraged because the, the visa lines are so long. You know, if you file a petition for your brother or sister, uh, you're going to be waiting uh, two decades for yes, that petition to, years, come fr to come to fruition. Yeah. It's a long wait, but uh -huh. uh, you know you just don't know what happens in the future. It's such a simple thing to do, and and I talk to more people who put it off and put it off, mm -hmm. and they spend five years, ten years putting it off mm -hmm. without having done anything. That's ten years that are wasted. Right. At least it's already moving. Yes. Because at the same time, you keep putting it off, uh, it the prices keep going up. So, right. Yeah. Absolutely. And, well, how about renewing your green card? Who renews their green card? Why? should they renew their green card? Well, you know, the, nowadays the green cards are issued only for 10 years. So if you come to the end of 10 years that you've been a permanent resident, then you need to apply for a new uh, green card. Yeah, which, but shouldn't you apply for naturalization uh, after five years? I, I think that's absolutely right. I mean, if you're going to be here that long, if you're going to spend a decade in the United States, then you should really become a U.S. citizen and you should get all the benefits of that rather than paying to renew a green card, mm -hmm. which is just going to put you in the same place you were before. Right, so that's what you advise your clients. Yeah. Why, why do people renew their green card? Uh, I think some people, uh, there are lots of reasons why you would go the tenure. Some people are elderly and they don't feel like they can take the test. Mm. Uh, some people have trouble with the language. Um, some people just feel like they aren't sure they want to be a U.S. citizen okay. or they have... Uh, there's also a mistaken belief in the Filipino community that be if you become a U.S. citizen, then the petition that you have filed for your children, you get put into a different category. That okay. used to be the case, mm -hmm. but that no longer is the case. So you can retain the F2B category even if you become a, a U.S. citizen. 
Okay, that's good. That's very comforting to know. Uh, but also, when you renew your green card, there's costs involved as well, right? So you might as well just apply for naturalization. That's absolutely right. It's not free to renew your green card. You have to pay. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to put those costs towards renewing, I, I think the better investment is to put it towards uh, naturalization. Right. And of course, if you want more information about this or if you have other immigration concerns, that's the number to call on the screen. They do give a free office consultation. Yes. Uh, so uh, Attorney Richard Lowe and Attorney Alice McKinney, thank you so much and more power to you. Thank you. Entertainment news when we return, don't go away.